They are now in panic mode. It's not working anymore. They have lost $900 million in their last eight releases, and just a week ago, their stock price hit a nine-year low when it fell below $84 in 2023. So if going woke is clearly pissing off fans and dragging their financials into the mud, why are they doing it? Is it because they genuinely care about inclusion and making people of all kinds feel comfortable and happy? Well, when you learn about the Corporate Equality Index, you might think differently as to why companies are all of a sudden being so forward with their political ideologies. For the 16th year in a row, Disney received a score of 100 on the Human Rights Campaign Foundation's Corporate Equality Index. The CEI score is administered by the Human Rights Campaign, the largest LGBTQ political lobbying organization in the US. This score is given to companies that meet certain criteria such as workforce protections, inclusive benefits, supporting an inclusive culture, and the big one being corporate social responsibility. CSR is the one we will notice the most because of the rules that must be followed to earn a full score in this area. Marketing or advertising in LGBTQ consumers, advertising with LGBTQ plus content, advertising in LGBTQ media or sponsoring LGBTQ organizations and events, and demonstrated public support for LGBTQ plus equality under the law through local, state, and federal legislation or initiatives. Companies are rewarded with essentially a social credit score based on how inclusive they are. Investors often consider a company's CEI score as an indicator of potential future backlash over over human rights violations or other controversies. A high CEI score can reassure investors that the company is a relatively safe bet. If you do not comply with the HRC's guidelines and receive a low CEI score, then investment firms that control trillions of dollars, such as BlackRock, will actively avoid investing in your company. This situation becomes particularly concerning when viewed through the lens of potential blackmail. If a company fails to meet HRC's criteria, the HRC can exert pressure on investors. These investors, in turn, can influence the company's board creating a chain of external pressures. If they learn that a company is not complying with the HRC's LGBTQ criteria, they have the power to contact advertising agencies and encourage them to no longer do business with these companies. This could result in a significant loss of income for a non-compliant company. Adding another layer of complexity, companies that do adhere to the CEI criteria may also be penalized if they engage in business with companies that do not. In some cases, even the companies that are making an effort to meet the CEI standards could see their scores negatively affected. Very powerful billionaires are very much against conservative values. Strong family bonds, frugality, and modesty contradict the consumerist mindset. By influencing a younger generation to distance themselves from these traditional values, these cutthroat businessmen aim to shape a future consumer base that generates more profits than ever before. However, not every company is successful in trying to achieve a higher score. For instance, companies like Bud Light have faced controversies that led to significant financial losses. The biggest problem with this score is that you'll never know the difference between an actually progressive inclusive company and one that's just trying to get a higher score to look good for investors. 